What is religious way of thinking? We all are aware to what is religion consciously and unconsciously but don't know how religious way of thinking operates in and what is it in first place. Religious thinking includes any ideology, belief system, or conception of higher spooks that constrain individual freedom and his uniqueness. Some key aspects of religious thinking according to Stirner include Belief in sacred ideals or moral absolutes beyond oneself. This includes concepts like truth, justice, natural rights, morality, etc. These are religious spooks that one sacrifices oneself to. Submission to some transcendent higher power or authority. This could be God, the state, one's duty. The greater good of society, etc. To follow anything above one's own ego is a religious mode of thinking for Stirner. Dedication to some aim or purpose beyond directly satisfying one's own desires and interests. Religious thinking says we should serve God's purpose, natural law, the advancement of humanity, etc. But for Stirner we should have no aim beyond egoistic self-enjoyment. Regarding any idea, institution, role, or power as sacred and unquestionable. The religious thinker follows traditional values, social conventions, state power, public opinion, etc. without subjecting these spooks to egoistic critique. One accepts and submits rather than thinking for oneself. The belief that egoism and self-interest must be sacrificed for the well-being of something higher. Religious thinking says that we must negate ourselves for the greater glory of God, society, morality, etc. But for Stirner the ego alone is highest. The search for meaning, purpose or identity outside of one's unique self. The religious mind seeks to fulfill a pre-given role or purpose, rather than determining meaning from within. One is defined by one's relation to that spook, not independence. So in short, for Stirner any form of thought that enforces allegiance to ideas, values or powers beyond oneself is a religious mode of thinking that threatens individual freedom. Egoism alone allows one to free oneself from absolute ideals, transcendent purposes and sacred authorities, from all ghosts or spooks. Religious thinking traps us, while egoistic thinking liberates us by making ourselves the sole source of meaning and authority. And that's how Stirner's thoughts are anti-ideology.